Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. So it's not going to make sense for me to do the review for the SBC card coming out because I have to use him to unlock this card. So I'm going to go ahead and do that first. Um, he's five foot 11, high medium work rates, uh, right footed, four star skills, four star weak foot, in-game player traits. He has the finesse shot trait, flare, flare passes, swerve pass, technical dribbler, long shot taker. Uh, so a couple of interesting traits to work with in-game attributes. This card is going to be well formatted for, I would personally say, maybe like, um, I would say maybe like a Hawk chemistry style. A Hawk chemistry style doesn't look that bad on him. Like I said, this is going to be the card that uh, you can upgrade until, right? So you can give him a Hawk. You can give him something else as well. A finisher does make him an explosive player, which to be fair, would actually match my play style a little bit more. And I'd be able to give him a dribbling boost, which as you guys know, I always give dribbling boost to these cards. You could also give him a Hawk chemistry style to boost the pace, shooting, and physical of the card, but then you would make him a controlled player. For me personally, I always prefer to give chemistry styles to cards that make them explosive most of the times because of the play style, right? Especially in like that new 4231 that I showed you guys. But we could try them out on both to see what's up with the card, right? Either way, we'll have decent pace in the card. Shooting will be in a nice area. Passing will be checking out in game with a four star weak foot. Lean body type with 92 dribbling stats everywhere, which is definitely very interesting. He has no defensive capabilities, but then the physical will be upgraded on a Hawk and it won't be upgraded if I decide to give him a finisher instead, which gives him a massive shooting boost while turning him into an explosive player. So let me go ahead and unlock the SBC, complete the objectives, and I'll show you guys how we line him up in game okay guys so we just finished unlocking him so for now uh let's just go ahead and give him the hawk chemistry style because like i said i do mainly see this card being played um in the side positions right but uh as i was saying earlier i personally like the explosive players more than the controlled players but we'll see we'll see what the vibes are uh, we'll boost his pace, his shooting, as well as his physical on this card. Uh, and then we'll just use the dribbling as it is, right? So we have the finesse draw trade, swerve pass, all that good stuff. So I'll be using him in the striker position. 4-2-3-1. Um, and then the instructions will just be stay central, get behind, and stay forward. So yeah, let's see what he's like. And up front today, TDA Drogba. Oh man, he was making a solid run there too. That's unlucky. That's FIFA for you. That is FIFA for you. Okay, we move. Nice finish. Well done, Diaz. Timed that really well. There is a little bit of a feeling of me wanting to improve his dribbling a tad bit, but we'll see. Oh man, I tried to get a finesse shot off there. Couldn't even get the green. Couldn't get the uh, first time touch there to get a shot across goal. Honestly, I'm not really sure what happened with the dribbling right there, but I did try to go for a chip shot. Ooh, almost get the shot off. Unlucky. Ooh, let's go. Luis Diaz. Those shots usually don't work out, but he scores that one. That's nice. Do I get this in the air? No, I do not. Unlucky. I did get the green on that, but I'm too close to the goalie. I do have to go for like a chip or something. That worked out. Very, very lucky to be fair. Oh, I don't know what just happened right there, but worked out a little bit. 
Oh, I don't know what's happening. Square white? Nah, no whites. Ooh, not a bad, not a bad white timed. Not a bad white timed. Nice finish. Well done, well done. Get him on his left foot right there. Looking like Jurgen Klopp. No! I'll take that. Ah, couldn't get it off. So on the controlled guys, if you're using um, if you're using the card with the hawk chemistry style, but you're using him in the side positions, that's not a that's not a bad thing, right? Uh, because you're going to work with pace, the dribbling, you're going to have to work with a little bit, obviously, but in the side positions, you don't really care about it as much. Um, if you do play it through the middle, though, or if you prefer the explosive accelerate, it is going to be way more ideal to give him the finisher if that's the play style that you want to kind of go for, you know? Ooh, got it. Nice finish. A nice little body feint off. Weak foot again. Still strikes it well. Tap shot. Yes. Worked out for the best. Oh. A little pass off by Luis Diaz. Hmm, couldn't work the near post there. I might be able to get a finesse shot with him here, actually. I do this. He's calling out his goalkeeper, so we'll just do this close. Oh, we hit the crossbar again, man. I still score on a red too. Doesn't matter. And the chip worked. The chip shot worked. Very nice. Ooh, he releases that one like really quickly. I have to get used to his timing for the shots. Yeah, sometimes they're released quickly, sometimes they're released late. Just gotta get used to it in regards to how it kind of comes off of those dribbles. And of course, he's a great finisher. And they need to get tighter here. Oh, nothing on that one. That's a, that's a crazy one. If I hit that, that's nuts. Ooh, nice try. Empty net. Uh, oh, we're back. Misses on the finesse shot there. Okay. Nice finish. Well done, Diaz. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the Luis Diaz card. So for him personally, um, it actually makes the most sense to use him on controlled. I just feel like, one, he just feels more like a controlled player because of the way that his dribbling kind of works in game. And two, uh, I just feel like the boost that he gets for every single area of the card that's needed is given to him, right? Because with the Hawk chemistry style, you boost the pace, the shooting, and the physicality of the card while working with 92 dribbling stats for everything taking into consideration that this is a card that you are mainly going to be using in the side positions, right? Uh, a lot of the strikes that I got him on his 
uh, weak foot, his strong foot came off nicely. If you actually decided to use him over on the left side, it wouldn't necessarily be a horrible choice because of the fact that he does have the finesse shot trait and he also has uh, some pretty good right uh, left footed strikes just as long as you green time them as much as possible. It's kind of just how the game works in general. I would say that the main thing that you're going to have to work with when it comes to this card is going to be dribbling. Um, he does feel a little bit off sometimes because the 5'11 height influences the dribbling a little bit with his lean body type, but the improvements that he's been given makes him a usable card in this game, right? With the pace boost, shooting boost, and physicality boost for a card that you will be mainly used uh, or mainly using, you will be mainly using in the side positions, uh, it's not bad whatsoever. So it's actually pretty cool because the SBC itself is 37k, uh, which to be fair to him is actually fair value um, for what he offers in game, right? Like, sure, you got to work with the left stick, but you really can't go wrong with a Luis Diaz card for 40k, considering the fact that we have not gotten an, you know any sort of card uh, from him so far this year when he's actually pretty decent to use in game, right? It's just the left stick that you're going to have to work with uh, the most. So when we take a look at the stat differences as a new promo card, right? The dribbling boost is obviously a massive one, as well as the shooting boost. Uh, the rest, you know, they gave him a passing boost, a physicality boost. So, so far, the concepts with these SBCs is definitely an interesting one for me. Uh, it's definitely a WSBC for what he offers in game. Nothing too crazy special, but he's he's pretty nice for what it is, right? Like if you especially if you want to work with uh, some former FC Porto uh, past and present squad or you want to work with some Liverpool players in your squad, then obviously you'll be unlocking him for that reason. So after this review, we'll be doing the review for Johan Cruyff. He's going to be the next one and then we'll build towards Mason Mount over the course of the days. So. I did try the card out on Explosive, considering the fact that it is usually my favorite Accelerate um, for the cards. I, I, he just needs a Hawk. He just feels like that type of card. I, I gave him an Explosive. I mean, I gave him the um, the finisher, and I'm like, I feel like I'm wasting my time. Like, I feel the dribbling boost a little bit, but I just feel like with the long shots being boosted, uh, you know, giving him that extra physical and pace, it just makes more sense because of the way that his dribbling works with the 5'11 height, you know? Um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.